Sajid Javid says he wants COVID restrictions to end as soon as possible, to limit the damage to the economy. But whilst he is the new health secretary, the numbers haven't changed. Infections are still rising, over 22,000 recorded today. But crucially, only three deaths. We know over the weekend there are some delays in reporting and a technical issue meant some cases were missing from yesterday's tally. But what the health secretary will be hoping is the link between cases, hospitalizations and deaths is finally breaking. Here we have the seven day average of infection rates versus hospitalizations. It's the average, so a bit lower than the number we've seen today, but you can see how each are growing. But importantly, hospitalizations aren't climbing as fast as cases. Now, if we look at the growth rate for each over the last fortnight, by the 19th of July, we could see over 45,000 cases a day and hospitalizations could reach 566 a day. Even if cases were this high, as long as the hospitalizations were low, we could still unlock. The success of the vaccine rollout, though, is key to breaking that link. Boris Johnson set new vaccine targets to be achieved by the 1st of July. The offer of a first dose to all over 18s and two thirds of adults to be double jabbed. This data matters because while restrictions on businesses remain for at least another three weeks, support starts being withdrawn this week. On July the 1st, the furlough scheme that guarantees employees 80% of their wages becomes less generous. The government will pay 70% and employers 10%. Employer pension and national insurance contributions will also increase. Not only that though, VAT deferrals also end, meaning businesses will have to start paying the tax once again, albeit at a reduced rate of 5%. But business rates exemptions and bounce back loan repayments will also be due all at a cost to businesses unable to fully reopen, which is why it matters what step four on the roadmap looks like in reality. This is what the government said would happen. Indoor gatherings, nightclubs, even travel, all reopening without restrictions. These sectors say any continuation of social distancing or mandatory certification would be a hammer blow. Every day that these businesses are left in restrictions, are trading below profit, they're trading at a loss, means that there is a greater likelihood of business failure. So every day is a cost. We have to wait and see what the scientific evidence suggests, but you've got over two thirds of the population now double jabbed, 80 to 90% moving towards a single jab. That should give us confidence that we can reopen the economy. The Treasury, where Sajid Javid was briefly the boss, says its current measures are sufficient to prop up the economy, but businesses are adamant. If the state extends restrictions, it must also extend support.